Before we get started, I do want to say there are a million tutorials on how to do this effect, but they're either way too long, require external plugins from like Video Copilot, or they just suck. So the goal for today is to make this a quick and easy tutorial with all the effects being native to After Effects. And essentially, the whole process of this effect is just rinse and repeat. You do one thing and then you do it like five other times. So here we have the clip that we're going to animate and the first step is to track each one of the fingers. So you come to the right side of After Effects and hit Tracker, hit Track Motion and it will give you a track point option. Drag the outside box pretty wide and the inside box should be just as big as the thing you're trying to track, which in this case will be my Point your finger. And so I want the inside box to be exactly, hmm, yeah, it's perfectly covering the top of my finger, which is what we're going to track. So from this point, you come over to the right side where it says analyze, and you hit analyze forward. And then from there, it should accurately track the top of your finger, especially in my case because it's a white finger against a black backdrop. So once it gets to the, this point where um, I'm pulling my hand back, you can go ahead and stop the track. Before you do anything else, come up to Layer, New, and Null Object. Come back over to the Tracker panel, hit Edit Target, and just select the Null one and hit OK. And then hit Apply. So now what we've done is applied the X and Y dimensions to it. And so anything we link to this null, we'll move in that exact same motion. And now this is the part where it's just rinse and repeat. We're going to do this process with every single finger. I'm just going to speed this whole process up so you can watch how I'm doing it, but also get to the next step. All right, now that we've perfectly tracked the tips of our fingertips with these nulls, we can now start animating lightning. So we're gonna come up to layer, new, and solid. We're gonna make it black. And this part's really important. Since we're tracking motion, the black solid is going to follow it, which means we have to make it larger than the frame. So it has wiggle room if it moves so it doesn't come in and out of the frame. Great, so we have a black solid that is now larger than the original frame size. And you're gonna come over here to effects and presets and type in advanced lightning and drag that onto the black solid. And to make this stand out, I'm actually gonna come over here and change the color of this bar to purple. All right, so as you can see, we have this thing of lightning. If you come up to the left and click on it, it gives you an option to drag the beginning and end points. So we're just gonna start with the first finger that we tracked, which is this one right here. And what we're going to do after we position it there, come down to the bottom and link it to null one. So now it's completely tracked to where your finger is. And if we watch that back, you can see it perfectly follows your finger. But as you can see, the lightning doesn't actually move in any way. And so what we're going to do is come up to advanced lightning and hit a keyframe at conductivity state. And then at the very end of it, let's set it to 100. And so if you scroll back, you'll see that the lightning moves at a much faster pace. More details we need to work out with the lightning. If you come over to glow settings, drop that down, turn the radius to zero. We are gonna create our own glow. Now we have this lightning that is coming out of our fingers that's perfectly dragged to the tip of it. Hit control D four times, one, two, three, four. And now we're just gonna go through each lightning and pair it with the respective finger. So click on the next one, hit advanced lighting and just like the one before, drag the beginning and end points and then connect it to whatever null is tracked on that finger. All right, check it out. So once you just connect each black solid layer with lightning to each fingertip, you've now perfectly tracked the lightning coming out of your hand. And so if we zoom in on this, it actually looks very funky because it's just white lines on the top of our fingertips. So to blend that in, we're gonna create individual circles that are feathered enough to make it look like our fingertips are glowing. To do this, come up to layer, new, and uh, shape layer. And just to keep it clean, let's trim it to the exact same size as our other layers. And we're gonna create an ellipse. And let's go over to Gaussian Blur, drag that bad boy on there. 
and let's do like 40. Perfect. And now like the lightning, we're just gonna attach each one to a respective null. So each fingertip automatically just tracks that circle. Which, for example, you just go parent or link and I'll do null one. And look at that. Ugh. It's just so beautiful when everything just automatically tracks for itself. So duplicate that four times, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and like that one, just drag it to the new finger and link it to its respective null. Look at that, ah! All right, and if I watch that back, this is the perfect base for us to now animate light, etc. And so we're going to type in the effect glow and let's just drag that on top of the first black layer. And so what we're going to do is just drag the radius out a bit. We're going to copy that and just paste it on each bolt of lightning. And so now they're all quite glowy. And then for color, I saw in the other lightning effect tutorials that they were using Video Copilot's Vibrant. But since I'm going to keep this all native to After Effects, we're actually just going to use curves. So drag that onto your top black solid. And what I did for my lightning is so I made one blue and then I actually just copied and pasted that on every other lightning bolt. So it's like half white, half blue. I thought that was cool. And so if we watch that back, it looks pretty neat. What we're going to do is go up to effects and presets, type in X exposure, bring that on top of our first black solid, hit alt exposure, and then we're going to type in the code wiggle parentheses 50 comma two. And so basically that's just going to sporadically have light flashing. And of course we are going to hit copy and paste on each black solid. And so now each finger lightning will be randomly flashing. And now for the eye scene on the cake, we're actually gonna go to layer, new adjustment layer, drag that on top, cut it to our perfect colorful tower here. I'll come over here and change the color of it to pink. And now this simply will be the reflective light from my hands onto my body and the surroundings. So we're gonna go to curves again, drag that onto our adjustment layer, go to blue and then just make a similar, that looks about right. And then we're gonna come up to our pen tool and make a mask around the lightning, my face. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a rough mask. Hit M twice to drop down your mask options and change the feathering pretty high. Yeah, just mess around the mask to see how you like it. Uh, in my example, I actually dropped down the opacity to like 70 so it's not too harsh. And what we're actually going to do is go to our black solid layer and copy our exposure effect with the wiggle and put this on this layer as well. And so now we've got so many different flashing lights. It really represents just all this sporadic lightning. Now to represent the heat distortion effect, which is when you're shooting lightning and the heat is so hot, it distorts pixels and stuff around you. So come up to layer, new, adjustment layer. And now to replicate heat distortion, we are actually going to do turbulent displace. So drag that on and you will immediately see that you look uh, really funky. We're actually going to come up to a mount, hit alt, click, and do wiggle, parenthesis, 50 comma nine. That will give us the perfect amount of turbulent displacement if we come up here and change this to 10. To isolate this in just a specific reason, we're actually gonna make create a mask around this mask as well. I'm just gonna drag it around half of my face since it's close to the lightning. And then hit in twice, and we're also just gonna feather the edges of this in. Oh wow, that looks awesome. And check it out. You have now created force lightning. That wasn't too hard, right? And I think this tutorial probably wasn't so long. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I made sure that everything was native to After Effects. I made sure everything was the fastest out of every single tutorial I could find. So let me know how I did. And what tutorial of whatever effect would you like to see next? More Star Wars stuff, etc. So let me know. And now I will pass it on to our sponsor, 